Immediately following the Boston bombings, the debate regarding civil liberties versus security was reignited after laying dormant for years. For additional security, would you give up your rights, such as your right to not be detained without charge? Peter King, who chairs the House Subcommittee on Counterterrorism and Intelligence, said that he thinks we need more police and more surveillance in the communities where the threat is coming from. And articles in the Washington Post have argued that security and liberty need to be balanced. Even in the months before the Boston bomb, there were growing concerns about the removal of civil liberties under President Obama, who enacted the NDAA, which human rights campaigners say will allow for the indefinite detention of American citizens without charge. Here in the UK, Theresa May recently flirted with the idea of suspending the Human Rights Act so she could deport Abu Qatar back to Jordan. On Thursday, we're going to be debating all of these issues. How much of our liberties are we willing to give up in the name of security? Are our civil liberties simply being taken away? Hey everyone, my name is Miles Dyer. We are live this Thursday on the 2nd of May at 7 p.m. GMT, and we'll be joined by Miles Dyer, Big Brother Watch, and No to ID. Subscribe so you don't miss out, and check our Google Plus page for all the details. We'll see you then.